Bridgeport needed a reason to exist, so now we're building an industrial harbor. Let's get started. We're back to speed builds because I'm most comfortable with those, but the storyline of this harbor is that Bridgeport needs a reason to exist. Although, more specifically, Bridgeport needs a reason to grow. Because I want to get rid of the old industrial area that was really just built because in city skylines you really need to start with industry. But I didn't have these map tiles available to me when we started. So I am going to get rid of that old industrial area. But then where would the population of Bridgeport work? They wouldn't. So Bridgeport could exist. It would just be a tiny town or tiny village to be more specific and wouldn't really have any reason to grow because there wouldn't be like jobs or anything. So this harbor is basically the big bam to Bridgeport. This is the reason Bridgeport is going to grow into a city or it's going to be the start of growing into a city. Now, the reason why this harbor would be here, because I do kind of want to build Bridgeport with a story of like, oh, the harbor came here. So Bridgeport started really growing into a town. And then because Bridgeport grew into a town, this industry or this thing was attracted which caused more growth and such so i could really see a natural development in bridgeport but when it came to this harbor it's a little bit like how do you explain it it could be that like oh this harbor is just like it was such a good natural location for a harbor that it was built here maybe it's like close to like a shipping route that was like oh it has a very good natural location for a harbor so the harbor was built there could be a multitude of reasons but the official reason is just bridgeport needed a big bam <laughs> it needed to just have something that it grew from because otherwise it would have just stayed a tiny village forever which is not a bad thing you have a lot of those tiny villages but i don't think it's going to be really interesting to just keep bridgeport as a tiny village anyway so funny thing about the harbor this is where new haven ended like when it comes to new haven i showed you guys one episode or basically i uploaded one episode but i had two more completely ready and then I decided, yeah, the foundation of New Haven is so wobbly. It's so shaky. I want to redo it. But I had built this harbor already. I had built the expansion to Bridgeport or New Haven back then already. So I kind of knew for like these episodes what I was going to do. Like I knew that Bridgeport was going to expand over the highway. I knew that I was going to build a harbor. So from this point on, like after this video, we're into new territory. Well, actually, you guys were into new territory already after the first episode. But I am in new territory after this episode. And I had a lot of fun. <laughs> but anyways, when it comes to building the harbor, you can already see like, oh, I wasn't. I knew what I was doing because I'm like, oh, yeah, I want this shape. I want that shape. I always said like, oh, I want to keep the natural shape of the landscape. So I wanted to keep that peninsula there. I wanted to kind of have the shape of that peninsula, but make it really artificial looking because that's harbors. They are not supposed to be pretty. They're supposed to be really functional. So I already knew what I was doing. I already knew the shape. And so it was just very easy for me to just be completely Dutch and polder everything in because that's also the best way to build a harbor or to more easily build a harbor because city skylines doesn't really want you to build on the water which is understandable but if you want to build a harbor you're going to pull your hair out if you try to build this on water or with water close to it so i just basically made the entire area into land and then later on after we finished everything then i'm going to sink the area that is supposed to be water back again but just for building or laying out the harbor getting making sure that i get these like concrete walls to really get like a defined shape to the harbor that's just going to all be done on land now the reason well one of the reasons why this being a speed build makes a sense is um yeah here i spent 20 minutes i think gushing about something that happened 
that hasn't happened in like the eight times that I've tried to build this armor. Again, I've built this armor so many times because it was a lot of trial and error of just like, this works, this doesn't work, this works, this doesn't work. Now, it do now everything doesn't work anymore. Oh, and now everything works. But yeah, the thing that I was gushing about, because when it comes to getting these concrete walls, these quays, which again, let me know down below in the comments if I'm pronouncing that correctly, because I'm probably not, because it sounds very wrong. Like, not wrong as like, oh, it sounds dirty. No, it just sounds wrong as in wrong pronunciation. But anyways, the thing that I was gushing here about was just like, oh yeah, I've built these quays and I wanted to make like docks, like going off of them. And I could never get that to work. And then I like gushed about like, oh, I'm beating the system here because it suddenly worked. Yeah, the reason that it works is because I built the quays on like either side of like, uh, I'm going to call it a little bit of a channel or just this gap where the Peninsula and the mainland connect. But I wanted to build like a little dock. Couldn't get that to work. But why it does work now is because I had roads on either side. So I was connecting those roads, which means that you keep kind of the same level throughout because it's not on water. It works. It's just like looking back at it. I don't know why I was so surprised that it worked. Not that I knew that it was going to work. I was really just like trying to line up the street so that everything is just perfectly aligned. But yeah, it's just that's like the thing of like, oh yeah, in real life, I'm a mess. And here in these speed builds, I mean, I'm still a mess, but I can look back at myself and just be like, you're an idiot. But anyway, so yeah, was basically gushing about that. Didn't beat the system. I just, I just learned that the system works. But anyway, so building up the shape and here's the thing with industrial harbors you can actually build those walls a little bit higher up because you have to take into account the ships like the height difference between the land and the ship you have to take that into account not so much the height difference between water and land because you're not going to jump into the water from a harbor quay thing i don't know how you call it but you are going to try and get on a ship most likely so with ships being quite big you can actually make the walls a little bit higher than you would have in like an urban area like any waterfront i would probably go for like maybe a two meter at most four meter height difference between water and land but with like a harbor especially like an industrial harbor you could go for a bit higher so i think that this one is five maybe six meters like high difference between where you touch the water and when you are on land so that was in a way easy to build like this, having that a bigger height difference between the land and the water is actually easier to build because when it comes to building these concrete walls it's a lot easier to build them when the height difference is a little bit steeper because you're essentially building the street on that line where the high and low meet like that's why you get the concrete walls on one side because you only want them on one side so that you can still build up to the water but having a little bit more of a height difference between low and high for me at least makes it easier maybe i'm just like being an idiot again which is completely plausible but it just made it easier for me now, I do have to say, this harbor is completely non-functional besides in an industrial zoning area. Like, there's no actual, like, in-game you do have, like, a harbor building. But that's not here. I don't think Bridgeport at this time would actually need that. It wouldn't really have, like, a big harbor area. Because, again, I want to really go for a sort of realistic development for Bridgeport as a storyline of like, oh, this was there, this was there, and then this grew, and then this grew because that grew. So it doesn't make sense to have like a really big harbor. So this is really just like a itty bitty harbor that's probably like, you know, not even a dot on any map. But it's a non-functional harbor it is a kind of mixed use harbor because i put not only industry here but also office areas and some shops 
because that is kind of realistic because you have a lot of people working here and of course any factory does deliver paperwork so you would want some offices here now you don't want high density offices in a harbor because i mean there's probably exceptions of like oh yeah poison in my city they have like this 50 story skyscraper office just middle in the industrial harbor but most likely you won't have those in an industrial harbor you would have them in like an old harbor that has been like has fallen out of use as a harbor and has become more like a just thing in like the urban network of just like oh yeah this is now part of the city like it's mostly more a residential and office area i but when it comes to here you probably want like low density offices just like sort of blocky buildings that don't really go up that high and because there's a lot of workers you might want like a few convenience stores or like some kind of like fast food joints because people are going to get lunch here maybe if there's like a night crew people will get dinner and such so it makes sense to have like a few like a little bit of commercial area mixed in where there's just like a convenience store or something where you can get a grip or grip i need to get a grip <laughs> but where you can get a quick bite of food or something to drink because we all know cafeteria food is usually the worst usually unless you work at like a really fancy company or such most of the time i mean cafeteria food doesn't have to be bad but like you have limited options i would say and fast foods i mean we all we all like trash at some point i go for chicken nuggets every time of or i could go <laughs> i don't have a problem with chicken nuggets but like that's the kind of trash that i would like but anyways also a thing when it comes to harbors don't make them all concrete like there's probably going to be like a few trees not a lot of trees, but just a few trees. Again, this is the thing of like, there's going to be space that's not used. And so like, oh yeah, maybe like you want to place a few trees just to make it like a little bit prettier because I mean, it makes sense if you want to complete just concrete jungle in a harbor because you know, it's not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be function first, but I do like to place just like the odd little tree just to make it a little bit more pretty like just oh this area was just left over and so maybe a tree grew in naturally or they just placed a tree here because i mean they're not going to do anything with this tiny area so place a tree or something just to fill up the area now i do want to say something when it comes to the trees and you would definitely see this in the next episode you will also see this at the end of this video but I installed a mod because I'm an impatient fuck. <laughs> now, the thing with City Skylines is, or City Skylines 2 is, it's really full of realism, which means that you need to wait a full year for trees to grow. Now, I like the realism. I like that it sometimes rains. I like that it sometimes get, well, m most often now it rains or it's burning because if you haven't noticed this, yeah, Bridgeport is burning. <laughs> like, all of the forests surrounding Bridgeport are just on fire. Luckily, you don't really see it. Like, the visual of the trees don't change, so you don't really see it. But if you look anywhere, like, if you pause this speedbot at any point when I'm looking, like, in the distance, you might see, like, all of the symbols of, like, trees being on fire. <laughs> what was I talking about before that? Like, Bridgeport is on fire. Bridgeport is, um... Uh, forgot. Anyways, so build an office area. I completely lost my train of thought there. And I'm just going to straight up admit it. But I wanted to have, as I said, that mix of office buildings, like a few office buildings and office area. Because usually the offices kind of like to cluster. Because offices usually, like, you want a little bit of a prettier area. You don't want it right smack down into industrial areas. You will have offices in industrial areas, like, just, just, just straight up in the middle. But most often, they kind of like to 
cluster. But anyway, so... Oh yeah, that was what I was talking about. I installed a mod for trees so that they grow faster because I am an impatient fuck. So now I only have to like leave the game unpaused for like five seconds, hover over the trees and they grow full size. And I'm really happy about that. And if you say like, Poison, there's there's no mods for City Skylines yet. There isn't. At least no official ones. <laughs> but I found one on like a Reddit page that worked. So yeah. I, if my PC starts burning, we know now what happens. It's that tree mod. Actually, it's been very stable. Like, it hasn't done anything besides what it should. Anyways, now we're making an intersection or interchange. Let me know down below in the comments what it's actually called, because I know that in... Actually, what is the word for it in Dutch? <laughs> Sometimes, like... A lot of times I will forget the word in English, but sometimes my brain just goes complete Dumbo mode and it also forgets the word in Dutch. Also, I am the only person who is allowed to criticize the Dutch because I am Dutch. If you criticize the Netherlands, I will s just jump up on you and shove a stroop waffle down your throat and you can choke on it. I mean, it would be a happy death because it's a stroop waffle. Or strobe waffle. I don't know why I'm saying it in like a weird English way, but I will shove a strobe waffle down your throat if you make fun of the Netherlands, because only I am allowed to do that. And all of the other Dutch people in the room. Why in the room? Because we're always there. There's always a Dutch person in the room. And if you don't know that they're there, they definitely know that you are. We're like the ninjas. Actually, no, because we would be just there. Uh, Actually, would the Dutch be good ninjas? I don't know. We are quite efficient, I would say. Anyways, moving back to the interchange, because why am I talking about Dutch ninjas? But yeah, I don't know if it's like an interchange or an intersection. I think intersection is something different and it's just... Anyways, let me know down below in the comments. But I wanted a simple... I'm just going to call it an intersection because... It's a small harbor. It doesn't really need a large intersection. There's also like just like the industrial area up in the forest, which is completely temporary and it's going to get deleted in the next couple of episodes. But there's also a temporary road linking Bridgeport up to the harbor. Again, completely temporary because it's just there so that the traffic doesn't all have to go over the highway because eventually there's going to be a road leading from Bridgeport into the harbor just directly instead of having to go over the highway but it's kind of funny because if you don't like place trees or broaden the pathways along the road cars will just park there and so you i have this like straight road down the hill that's just full of cars and it's really fun i mean i don't have any more because i'm already a few episodes ahead of you guys because i really like building city skylines and i just can't stop anyway so the big hurdle for this is yeah the harbor is at a just completely down a hill which makes sense because it's near water but like the highway is actually so far up that it's just like all right how am i going to link these two up eventually it worked with like zigzagging around a bit because that helps with like slopes to like kind of zigzag around them. But I really like how it looks. I'm also really happy again for that mod. Just because like I want trees. But I can't wait for the trees to not look like bushes. So really happy for that mod. Because otherwise I would be very sad. All of the trees in the harbor and this interchange or intersection. Again, let me know down below in the comments what it is actually called. But I'm really happy that all of the trees have grown. Because Bridgeport looks so different with the trees full grown. Like you guys have seen it so far. With all of the trees being basically babies. And after that mod, it was just like, this is a completely different city. And it looks amazing. Also with this interchange, I actually have set it up so that we could build a small little village because that's all Bridgeport is just like in this episode we are also setting up the next episode 
But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. You can see the fire in the background. So if you like this video, throw a fire at the, at the like button. And if you want to see more, show an intersection or interchange or whatever it's called at the subscribe button. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.